Welcome to Sunday session number two. So, as I work to make this a regular thing and bring you a new mix every week, let's uh, create some uh, themes here. So, I'll start with sharing that these sessions are a practice forum, a forum for me to experiment. Um, and with that, I'll say that uh, there's no format, no genres uh, I'll be sticking to in particular. Um, I'm a bit of a music nerd, as uh, if you can tell by my uh, house. Um, I love far too much music um, all over the world. So, and with that said, my favorite DJs can party rock and, and play a hybrid of things. So, I'm going to try to stick to that as well. Um, but I will play the genres that I do enjoy. So, you know, part of being a DJ is being a tastemaker. And so sorry if you're into polka. This is probably not the channel for you. Um, with that said, I sit somewhere in the intersect of like love and hip hop, electronic music, music from around the globe, even a little bit of pop. So expect that from myself. And I'll probably hold that to some of my guests that come through as well. So with that said, I'm going to pick up the vibes here a little bit. Let's get into it. Hope you enjoy. Share it, but today is the day. Don't kill my vibe. Don't kill my vibe. Don't kill my vibe. Look inside of my soul. 
One thing I shared is that I'm a bit of a music nerd. Um, so another theme I've been thinking about here is, in these sessions is to give a little historical context to the genres that I'm feeling, um, a little bit of insight. So this right here is the OG dubstep. So if your idea of dubstep starts with Skrillex, um, you kind of missed the boat. And this is no shade to Skrillex. He's done so much for the genre. He's an amazing producer. But, um, you know, OG dubstep started in the early 2000s uh, amongst the urban youth of South London. Um, uh, and in that area in South London, you have a lot of Caribbean diaspora who lived in South London, uh, AKA a lot of black people. Um, so electronic music, um, something you should know about London is it permeates all their pop culture. So you have like UK grime, which is uh, UK's version of hip hop, basically. Uh, UK garage, um, that's like London's version of house, uh, drum and bass. All of these styles kind of uh, came before it and kind of permeated into the sound. And uh, of course you had the influences from dub and reggae that came from the Caribbean diaspora. So this genre was all about big sound systems, big heady bass. Um, you know what, I'll link some resources about the genre in the comment. Um, but the very and it was the very antithesis of hype club atmosphere. Uh, this, this genre was all about dark rooms, uh, big bass, eyes down, and heads bopping. So. Um, uh, the electronic sounds that came, that came along with it 
of course, um, evolved over time, but it was really about minimal drums, uh, even minimal melody. This has a lot of melody right now. Uh, shout out Silky, one of my favorites. Um, but it wasn't until later that you had some more of the aggressive bass sound, which I'll get into later. But for right now, let's enjoy some OG dubstep.
Okay. So this dude right here, this dude right here, this is Benga. Benga was one of the pioneers of the dubstep sound. Um, uh, and this, as you can clearly hear, is where the sound started to evolve into like more aggressive bass lines. So, you know, uh, together with uh, Scream, uh, they both started to forge this sound of more aggressive bass sounds along with many others. So as dubstep started to evolve and make its way across the globe and become a more uh, internationally accepted sound, along with it evolved the uh, types of sounds. It, it got more uh, uh, technical with uh, electronic music production at the time too was becoming more accessible. Now you could download a piece of software, shout out Fruity Loops, shout out like all my dudes that hack software. Um, you So now the sound had no cho choice but to evolve as it permeated other glo uh, parts of the globe. So, and here we are today where we have like Skrillex and dubstep everywhere in every EDM festival and even non-EDM festivals. garage uh or garage or however you want to pronounce it but uh this is kind of uk's version of a house check the swing
that bitch sits in here, but in the nigga that young sister be in. The bitch who wants to compete in, I can freak fit that puff with the peep in. You know what your bitch become when her weave in. I just wanna sip that punch with your peeps in. Sit in that lunch if you treat in. Kick it with your bitch, you come from Parisian. She know where we get my plum in the season. Now she wanna lick my plum in the evening. I took that tongue tongue to deepen. I guess that can't get any in. I guess that can't get any in. I guess that can't get any in. I think I'm going to wrap up right around there. Um, just keeping a, these short for right now, but uh, stay stay tuned with me. Uh, subscribe. You know what to do. Um, I'm going to have some guests on uh, soon enough, so uh, you guys uh, keep posted, and I'll see you next Sunday. Mm-hmm.